was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see from the looks of the title in the screen, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to create the Catfish two-way stretch dimer build with contact dunks on NBA 2K23 next gen. Now from the gameplay, as y'all can see, we are pretty much able to do everything on this build. And I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna be sacrificing a little bit to get some of the best 99 overall stats when it comes down to 2K this year. Now when it comes down to the potential of this build, we're gonna get 71 badges. We're also gonna be making this build out of the power forward position today. But when it comes down to the abilities and the animations, we're going to be able to get pro contact dunks like I mentioned earlier. But as far as for the attributes and stats, we have the potential today to get this build to a 100 plus 3 pointer, pass accuracy, interior defense, steal, block with our defensive rebound. Now this build is honestly going to remind me of Bam Adebayo from the Miami Heat. And I just want to say again, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button. But be sure to comment down TG for thank God. As well as where you're tuning in from watching today. And I most definitely will be hitting y'all back with the response. So from here as you can see we're going to go ahead and get into the making of this build. So if you were paying attention we're actually going to go ahead and make this build out of the power forward position today. Now when it comes down to the body settings I'm telling y'all this is going to be a very crucial factor to this build. And you most definitely want to be sure that you follow along with every single step that goes into it. Now when it comes down to the body settings I'm going to go with 6'9 for the height. 218 for the weight with a 7'7 wingspan. Now when it comes down to the body shape, it really comes down to how you want to go about this. I really think Defined and Built are going to be the best ones to go with and today, I'm going to go with Defined. Now from here, we're going to get into the breakdown of this build and first we're going to go ahead and start with the physicals. Now when it comes down to the speed, I'm going to go with an 80 today, 74 acceleration, 60 strength, 80 vertical with an 86 stamina. Now remember, if you do complete the Gatorade workouts or have the gym rep badge unlocked, we're going to be able to get a plus 4 put towards this area. And I really do believe that this is going to be one of the better big man builds that you can make, especially when it comes down to being a catfish. Now from here, let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the best part of this build, which is going to be the defense. Now when it comes down to the interior defense, I'm going to go with an 84, 78 when it comes down to the perimeter. We're going to get a 90 steal on this build. And then when it comes down to the block, I'm going to go with the 99. Go ahead and raise the defensive rebound to a 99 as well. And that's going to bring the offensive up to a 59. Now we get a total of 29 badges for the defensive end. And look, for tier 1, I'm pretty happy with Box Out Beast. We get Post Lockdown, Glove, and then also Workhorse and Menace. Now for tier 2, I like Clamps, Challenger, Interceptor, of course, on Gold with Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist. And then for tier 3, Anchor. Pogo Stick Rebound Chaser on Hall of Fame. Now I really do believe that this is going to be one of the better defensive builds that you can possibly make. And I'm telling y'all it only gets better once we get into the breakdown of the offense. So from here let's go ahead and get started with the playmaking. So for the pass accuracy I'm going to go with an 86. 65 ball handle with a 35 speed with ball. Now with these 14 badges out of the playmaking. I like ankle breaker on silver. And then we also do get hyperdrive. Now, I'm pretty happy as well that we're able to get Floor General on Hall of Fame. And then for Tier 2, we get Gold Bailout with also Vice Grip. Now for Tier 3, if you do decide to throw extra badges into this build, we're definitely going to be able to equip Killer Combos or Unpluckable. Clan Breaker is okay, but I really do believe that these are going to be the more two important badges. Now that pretty much sets us up when it comes down to the playmaking side of things. Let's go ahead and get into the shooting. Now for the mid-range shot, I'm going to go with the 69, 80 for the three-pointer with a 76 free throw for a total of 16 badges. Now with these 16 for tier 1, I like Amped, Midi Magician, then also Space Crater with Volume Shooter. Now if you want to, you can change up the tiers of badges or even the attributes, but as far as for tier 2, I'm liking Agent 3 
then we're also able to get green machine now if you want to you can make any type of adjustment based to your own playstyle. and if you feel like there's a certain area that you really want to go ahead and focus and change you can definitely do that it really comes down to how you want to make this build but I'm telling you right now that you are definitely going to want to be sure to follow every single step of this build. It's going to be very crucial to maintain the build name, but even more so when it comes down to the animations. So with the finishing, I'm going to go with the close shot of a 48, 68 when it comes down to the driving layup, 84 when it comes down to my driving dunk, and that's actually going to give us that threshold in order to get the pro contact dunks. Now if you want to, you can really go about this to your own liking and preference, but with these 8 badges look. I'm happy that we're able to get back down Punisher, we also get Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, and then Slithery. Now when it comes down to tier 2, I like Limitless Takeoff with Fearless Finisher, and keep in mind if you do decide to throw extra badges into the finishing, remember you get an extra badge from each season as well as 4 from my career. So in no time we're going to be able to get Posterizer on Bronze on this build, and I really think that makes it even more of a catfish especially with being able to get contact dunks. Now when it comes down to these takeovers, we get the sharpshooting, the lockdown, also the rim protecting, and then finally, we do get the glass cleaning. Now in my best interest for this build, I think it's going to be better to pick first limitless range takeover. Now the second one you can pick from any of these defensive takeovers, it all comes down to your own playstyle. I really do think that see the future takeover, paint intimidation, and then even extreme clamps are the best three to pick from. And for my better interest of this build, I'm going to be going with Paint Intimidation. Now these are actually going to be the two best takeovers to pick from in my opinion. Let's go ahead and check out the build name to make sure that we made it correctly. And if you did, we should be getting these three comparisons. And look at that first screenshot, super different. I have not even gotten this comparison yet. And as y'all can see together, we were able to create the Catfish 2-way stretch dimer with contact dunks in NBA 2K23. Now again, if you did make it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Thank you God for this day. And look, if you add up all the boosts together, you're going to see that even including in your takeover boost, with buying your own boost and running with teammates that do have on floor general, we have the potential of that 100 plus 3 pointer, pass accuracy, interior defense, steal, block, and defensive rebound. Now I'm telling y'all this is not only one of the best defensive builds, but I think it's one of the best catfish in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and get started with the breakdown of the badges. Now when it comes down to the finishing for tier 1, the badges that I like, gold pro touch as well as silver slithery. Now for tier 2, I'm gonna go with core, silver limitless takeoff, and then wrap it up with bronze fearless finisher. Now I think these are the very best badges that we can pick from from this area. And remember, if you did decide to throw extra badges into this build and the finishing, we're still going to be able to get Posterizer at least on Bronze, so I think that makes a huge difference. I'm going to leave it like this, but let's go ahead and get into the shooting. Now for this area, I'm going to go with Amped on Silver for Tier 1, also Space Crater on Gold with Hall of Fame Volume Shooter. Now for Tier 2, I like Silver Green Machine as well as Bronze Agent 3, and then for Tier 3, I'm going to use my core badge of course on limitless range. Now I think this pairs up very nicely when it comes down to adding it in with the finishing. And remember you can pretty much pick any badges based off your own. Now for the playmaking I'm going to go with ankle breaker and then from there break starter on bronze. I really like the fact that we do get hall of fame floor general. Now from here special delivery, mismatch expert, hyperdrive, bailout as my core badge on gold with silver vice grip. Now this is another area that if you do decide to throw extra badges towards this build, you're going to be able to get killer combos or unpluckable both equipped at the same time as the other badges. Now the one that I would pick from is going to be killer combos. Now this is going to wrap it up when it comes down to the offense. I saved the defense for the very last and only because it's the best thing about this build. Now for the defensive area, I'm telling you right now looking very overpowered. So we're going to be able to get Hall of Fame box out beast. Silver Glove, and then also Workhorse on Hall of Fame, all out of Tier 1. For Tier 2, Gold Interceptor, and then Hall of Fame Chased on Artist. And to wrap it up on Tier 3, make sure you pick any of the 4 badges to your own liking, but I'm going to go with Rebound Chaser as well as Anchor on Hall of Fame. Now I really just want to say again, if you did make it this far into the video, thank you so much, and I would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and commented down what y'all thought about this build and video. 
But man, this is pretty much what the build is going to be looking like. We have everything on the offensive end that you can possibly want. The defense only gets better. And now from here, man, look, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And I would appreciate it if everybody went ahead and smashed that like button and commented down TG for thank God. And where you're tuning in from watching today, and I will be hitting y'all back with the response.